Never again in Austria, the word Ibiza will be synonymous for a famous party island in the Mediterranean. No, Ibiza here is famous for a video, not very well done, but very interesting because the former Vice Chancellor Heinz Christian Strache, he bragged in front of a woman, which said she was a billionaire, how important he was, uh, that he could uh, funnel money past the authorities, that he could influence the media, and that you could do a lot of not really legal things in Austria. The opposition party, including us, thus have started a so-called Ibiza Commission to find out what was really going on. Unfortunately, the commission is not open to the public. Only journalists can be there and they can report about the committee's work. And since the public attorney's office started to investigate even our Chancellor Sebastian Kurz, the ruling parties are very eager to stop our work here in this commission. So you might be wondering what the heck is going on in Austria, this beautiful country famous for museums and Mozart. My name is Helmut Brandstetter. I'm a former journalist and now I'm a member of the Austrian parliament and I'm part of the NEOS, the Liberal Party here in Austria. It is 2021 and the main political issue for all of us should be to combat the coronavirus. But instead, this Austrian government is stumbling from one scandal to the other one and it has very much to do with Ibiza. And Chancellor Kurz, he is also to be questioned in front of the commission. And as we know now, he obviously didn't say the truth when he was here for the last time. Actually, Chancellor Kurz, when he came into office, he promised a new style. He would do everything different now, not like the old parties. But it turned out that his style was even older than from the old parties. And the Ibiza video also revealed that his party was part of some of the scandals that we are talking about now. And obviously, he did not tell the truth when he was here in this commission last time. And there is another important man. His name is Gernot Blümel, and he's now the finance minister. Gernot Blümel is not only a political, but also a personal friend of Sebastian Kurz, and now he's finance minister. And we have a lot of text messages where he's talking to a very important CEO of an Austrian gaming company. Moreover, it's very interesting that this Mr. Blümel said in front uh, of the Parliamentary Commission that he did not have a laptop. And a few months later, when police came to his home, the laptop was not there, but walking around with his wife and his child in the park. It was a sunny day, of course, so that must have been possible. And Blümel is also known for his memory loss. 86 times he said, what did you ask me? No, no, um, I cannot remember. And then there is Thomas Schmidt. Thomas Schmidt is a very interesting person. He used to be just a press speaker, but he wanted to have a real career. And so he became Secretary General of the Finance Ministry. And it turned out that he, in fact, was the Finance Minister. If you follow his WhatsApp, he always uh, mentioned that it was him who had the power. And obviously, he also had the power to win the game to become the CEO of a holding where there are all these Austrian state companies. But most important about Thomas Schmidt is he's part of the family. That's how they called each other in the WhatsApp and all the other chats. They were talking to each other. We are a family and for instance, whatever you want, you get it because you are part of the family. That's how became, Thomas Schmidt became CEO of this Austrian holding. Chancellor Kurz, who also was part of all these WhatsApp conversations, said in this parliamentary commission, he didn't know about that, but we know, and we could read it, that they talked to each other how Thomas Schmidt would become CEO of this holding. But as I said, Kurz said, no, no, he cannot remember that he talked to Schmidt about that. So obviously, he didn't tell the truth in front of this commission, and that is perjury. And one more thing, they used a lot of gross language talking to each other and they talked very badly about the Austrian church. You know, do something against the church. That's 
what they wanted. Why? Because the Austrian church or people from the Austrian church bishops said that the way Kurz treated the refugees was not right. So for Kurz, it was enough to work against the Catholic church in Austria. So we have a chancellor who is in front of the uh, public prosecutor. We have a finance minister who is in front of the public prosecutor. We have people working for Mr. Kurz in front of the public prosecutor. And this Thomas Schmidt, he had to resign as CEO of the Austrian holding. The second republic here in Austria after World War II was very successful, despite a lot of cronyism, nepotism, and partisanship. But what these Kurz boys did was even worse. They only watched what's happening to their family. That's all what they were interested in. So that has to stop. We need transparency. We need decency in Austrian politics. And we need better control by a strong parliament, by a strong media. That's what we are fighting for.